Hi, I'm Jenny with In Touch, and we're back with another installment of Maddie Day Follow Up. As always, we're starting with our OMG moment of the week. Now, Mary Wallace spilled some major tea regarding her relationship with Geoffrey. As fans know, Geoffrey proposed to his girlfriend Varya while visiting her in Russia on 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 days. But when Varya said she wasn't ready, he returned to the US and started dating Mary. Well, Varya came back and Mary found herself involved in a love triangle. Geoffrey eventually did end things with Mary and proposed to Varya again when she visited him in the US, but fans have speculated that he has since split from Varya and is back together with Mary. Now she's setting the record straight. During a recent Instagram Live, Mary revealed that there was some serious drama that went down, saying, quote, No, I am not with Geoffrey. No, I do not want to be with Geoffrey. No, that is ended. It has been over for a very long time, longer than you guys think. Second of all, Geoffrey and I are not even friends anymore. She went on to explain that their friendship ended after an incident took place between her, her current boyfriend, Geoffrey, and a female friend of his at a local Chili's. And no, the female friend wasn't Varya. We wish she would have went into more detail because by the sounds of it, it was dramatic. Moving on to some 90 day news, a sweet congratulations is in order for Karini and Paul Staley who welcomed baby number two on February 5th. Paul took to Instagram to reveal the news, writing, quote, Ethan, born healthy and very fast. Now, just two hours prior to his post, Paul shared that Ethan was coming and asked for prayers since they were in a medical facility, seemingly in Brazil, amid the coronavirus pandemic. Plenty of other 90 Day Fiancé stars took to the comments of the Instagram post to congratulate the couple, including David Toborowski and Ashley Smith. Though they have had some bumps in the road, Paul and Karini have been married since November 2017 and welcomed their first child, Pierre, together in March 2019. Devin Clegg took to Instagram recently to shut down recent rumors regarding the devastating miscarriage she suffered in August 2019 while she was in Korea with her now estranged husband, Jiun Lee. According to Devin, someone claiming to be a nurse in Korea told a blogger that she had an abortion rather than a miscarriage. Appalled, Devin sounded off on her Instagram stories writing, quote, This is false and I'm shocked anyone would claim that. My miscarriage was the hardest time in my life and I still struggle. She went on to say that the rumors were spread without proof, claiming it to be true, and added, quote, Firstly, abortion is illegal in Korea, and any nurse who would claim that would be breaking the law and would face imprisonment. The blogger is claiming Ji Eun confirmed the procedure, to which Devin added, quote, I'm truly disgusted and heartbroken. If that's true, I can't believe they would sink that low. My miscarriage was absolutely one of the worst experiences of my life. I'm just shocked and completely appalled. The TLC star statement came after In Touch confirmed Ji Eun hired a well-capable attorney to represent him in his divorce from Devin. The two are currently preparing for a custody battle over their son Taeyong in the wake of their tumultuous split. Former 90 Day Fiancé star Anfisa recently took to her Instagram stories to do a Q&A with fans and naturally spilled some tea about her time on the show 90 Day Fiancé. When one fan asked if the show is scripted, she replied saying, quote, not scripted per se, but there's a plan for everything. For example, they'll say, tomorrow we are going to film a scene at a certain place and we want you to talk about this and this. When asked if she regretted being on the show, she replied no, it was a great experience that made me a thousand percent stronger and taught me so many lessons and gave me this platform. It was like a role I played, a stereotypical Russian gold digger, mail order bride. Some people didn't get it and it's okay. Now as fans know, Anfisa was first introduced during season 4 of 90 Day Fiancé when she moved to the US from Russia on a K-1 visa to marry George Nava. The couple was married for three years before getting divorced in August 2020. As for whether Anfisa will return to our television screens, well, it seems promising. The Russian beauty responded to a fan saying, quote, I have a few offers, so we'll see. Well, that's it for this week's 90 Day Follow-Up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest on your fave TLC stars. We'll see you next week.